It's Valentine's Day, a day of love, a day of expressing gratitude and appreciation for the significant other in your life, and an excuse for me to shamelessly objectify some hot pixelated dudes. There are enough lists out there devoted to the hottest female video game characters, so it's time to show the boys some love too. A quick note on the rules for this list, one character per franchise, the characters don't necessarily have to be from games I've personally played, and last but not least, these are just my choices. I'm not saying these are objectively the best boys in gaming, but they're my personal favorites. Alright, enough talk. On to the eye candy. 5. Girls love it when a good boy goes bad, even when it's just an act to catch the real bad guys. Wei Shen from the criminally underrated game Sleeping Dogs is an undercover Hong Kong American police officer who is tasked with infiltrating the Sun On Yi triad. Wei is highly intelligent, capable, and self-aware, and possesses a strong emotional fortitude. However, underneath this lies a darker side, as he has a proclivity to excessive violence and can be motivated by personal vendettas. Wei is driven by a strong, if sometimes conflicting moral system and sense of loyalty, not only to the police force, but to his friends and family. He's the type of guy who will walk to hell and back for those he loves, and you can't help but like Wei and admire his dedication to those he cares about. But he's not Mr. Serious Cop all the time. He also has a rather… active social life as well. There are plenty of women who are lining up to get a piece of them, Pork bun. and in one look at him, it's easy to see why. He's got that bad boy appeal with his signature leather jacket, ripped bod covered in tattoos, and cheekbones for days. The best part of this game is you can dress him up any way you like, including having him run around the majority of the game in next to nothing if you so choose. Hey, no one would judge you for it. Break out the handcuffs way, let's play some good cop bad cop. 4. Okay, so Connor from Detroit Become Human is technically an android, but I didn't say anything about the guys on this list having to be human. Connor was a bit of a slow burn for me. His attractiveness is obvious. After all, he was designed with a face and voice that was made to be pleasing to humans, but he didn't strike anything in me at first because I found him, excuse the pun, a bit too robotic and lifeless with not much personality. However, as you progress further into Connor's story, he becomes more human in a way and you see little changes in his demeanor. A little smirk here, a cocked eyebrow there, a newfound sparkle in his eye, and suddenly it hit me. Holy sh**, he's a hottie. Connor is undeniably the fan favorite of the three playable characters in Detroit Become Human, and it's easy to see why. Connor develops as a character throughout the game, and we become emotionally invested as we watch him evolve from a detached and cold machine to a charming and empathetic living being. His relationship with his detective partner Hank does an amazing job at humanizing Connor, teaching him right from wrong, and encouraging the humanity inside him. And as I said before, he's just plain cute, with his boyish good looks, warm puppy dog eyes, and that little out of place tuft of hair that you just want to reach out and touch and oh, he's so f***ing cute I just want to pinch his cheeks. Sorry, got a little carried away there. There's been a lot of discussion of the dangers of advanced AI and the negative repercussions it can have on society, but if they look anything like Connor, well, I for one welcome our sexy android overlords. 3. By far the most fun character on my list, Ellis from Left 4 Dead 2 may not be the sharpest zombie hunting tool in the shed, but what he lacks in smarts, he more than makes up for in hotness. Ellis is a mechanic with a love of life, a firm belief in his own immortality, and the ability to treat any setback as a fun dare to impress his friends. He seems to view the zombie apocalypse as a thrill-laden adventure, and even when faced with the collapse of human civilization, he manages to be fun-loving, optimistic, and overexcited. Contrasting with the gloomy outlook of the zombified South, Ellis serves as the game's comic relief, and you can't wait to hear what will come out of his mouth next. Whether it's a funny observation about your surroundings... Check it out! That's Jimmy Gibbs Jr. Aw, oh, shit. We missed him? Oh, you know what? That's the last straw. These zombies have just made themselves an enemy. 
or one of his many stories about his misadventures with his buddy Keith. I ever tell you about the time Keith and I made fireworks? Now, I didn't know shit about chemistry, but Keith figured gasoline burns, doesn't it? <laughs> Third degree burns on 95% of his body. Ellis is quick to claim everyone as his friend, and his open and friendly nature allows him to form affectionate bonds with people effortlessly. And besides being caring, positive, and capable, Ellis is also cute in that boyish, all-American way. He's the quintessential small-town country boy, complete with innocent charm and a sexy southern drawl. Someone you'd want to have a drink with and would definitely want around during the zombie apocalypse. A guy who can protect you and make you laugh? Yes, please. Two. Proof that a great personality can overcome even the most unfortunate looks. Anyway, is it any surprise at all that Garrus Vicarian is on this list? The guy's a heartthrob, plain and simple. There's just something about him that makes women and men weak in the knees. His calm, soothing voice, his charming personality, his sort of creepy bug kitty appearance. It's hard to figure out exactly what makes Garrus so damn appealing, but whatever it is, he has it. In fact, he was such a popular character that the developers made him a romanceable option in Mass Effect 2 due in part to fan outcry. He's a total badass, but he's also considerate to others and deeply loyal to Shepard. Garrus is an idealist with a strong sense of justice, but is frustrated by his perceived inability to change the world for the better. This makes for a very endearing, sympathetic character who's easy to feel for and fall in love with. And he's also a huge dork. He reads up on human customs so he can make you happy. He constantly stumbles over his words and makes unintentional innuendo. His ideal date is to take you out to do some shooting. He thinks your hair looks good and your waist is very supportive. Basically, if you didn't romance Garrus in Mass Effect, you're doing it wrong because there is no Shepard without Vicarian. So yes, he's on this list, damn it, because while he may not be physically sexy, it's all about that personality. He can calibrate my engines anytime. And before we get to my number one best boy, let's take a look at some honorable mentions that just avoided making my list. Ryo Hazuki from Shenmue. I'll say this off the bat. Ryo is purely on here for nostalgia's sake. He was one of my first ever video game crushes, but my feelings have waned on him over the years considering he's a high school student and I'm definitely not anymore. His voice and personality may be as flat as his pancake butt. However, he is honorable, cares deeply for his friends and family, can handle himself in a fight, and most importantly, is easy on the eyes, especially by early 2000s game standards, when the majority of characters look like this. And he also has a soft spot for kittens, which is always a plus. Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. The newest entry on my list, Arthur Morgan is a bonafide rootin' tootin' cowboy and a damn fine looking man. He has that bad boy rugged look of yesteryear, but without the syphilis and rotting teeth. But besides the looks, he's also a complicated character. Though at first he appears to be a typical gunslinger, he eventually grows into a fully fleshed out protagonist with morals and principles you sympathize with. And the man knows how to put rope to good use, if you're into that kind of thing. Save a horse and ride this cowboy. Cullen Rutherford from Dragon Age Inquisition. Cullen is an ex-Templar turned captain of your Inquisition's army and is the personification of the adorkable trope. He's capable, politically savvy, and a natural born leader, but turns into a bumbling, tongue-tied fool around women he has feelings for, which I find oddly endearing. His emotional inner conflicts result in a relationship with your character that is rich in poignance, and as his romance evolves, we're shown Cullen's more vulnerable side. And he's also a total hottie with his blonde pretty boy look and the body of a Greek god. And obviously Bioware agrees since they seem to find any excuse to get him in various forms of undress. If you're looking for a wholesome, loving relationship, Cullen can be your knight in shining armor. Dante from Devil May Cry. This is the only character on my list from a series I haven't played, but I don't need to have personally experienced any of the Devil May Cry games to appreciate the beautiful specimen that is Dante. And this may be a controversial opinion, but as hot as the OG white-haired Dante is, I prefer the look of the Dante from the 2013 DMC reboot. Yeah, he looks like the epitome of a douchey f boy, but I mean, come on. Those abs, that cocky smirk, that swagger, need I go on? 
I'll admit this is definitely the most superficial entry on my list, but hey, this is a hottest guys list, not guys I'd bring home to meet my parents. 1. Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil series. The number one on my list without question, a love that has maintained for 20 years since his introduction in Resident Evil 2 all the way back in 1998. Leon quickly became one of the most capable characters in the series, evolving from a likable but wet behind the ears police rookie to a wisecracking, super smooth government agent. In a world occupied by horrific monsters, villains, and mad scientists, Leon is always compassionate, dependable, and composed. He has the best corny one-liners, is totally unflappable in the face of danger, and is great at dispatching zombie threats, and looks damn good doing it. Through everything he endures, Leon maintains not only perfect hair, but composure and raw endurance to match. And while I love his younger, fresh-faced Resident Evil 2 design, especially the remake, damn boy can get it, it's his Resident Evil 4 iteration that is my favorite by far. A perfect combination of cool confidence and adorable dork, he can roundhouse kick a zombie one moment and spout so bad their awesome one-liners the next. Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. It's like he's aware he's the main character in an action game and is deciding to just go along with it. And you can't help but love him for it. And let's be honest, only someone as cool as Leon can make that 90s boy band hair look good. If I ever find myself kidnapped by a crazy Spanish religious cult, there's only one man I want to come rescue me. So congrats, Leon. Your combination of good looks, charisma, and badassery makes you number one on my list. And in my heart. And there we have it. My list of, at least in my opinion, the hottest guys in gaming. I know there's a bunch of dudes I missed, but what can I say? There's just too much hotness for one video. I'd love to hear who your best boys in gaming are, so let me know in the comments. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take a cold shower. Thanks for watching!